Hey hello everyone my name is Dinesh Krishnan in this video tutorial we're going to learn how to use the Orica mapper in Java application see Orica mapper is the library which will enable us to what you know map the properties between what one object to another object let's write some program to understand the Orica mapper so since I already created what you know the maven project with me just go to the palm so what I'm gonna do what you know I'm going to add the Orica dependency so go to what your Maven repository website. I'm simply going to type what you know, Orica. When you type the Orica, you will see what you know, Orica code link is available. Click on it. Now you can see the different versions available for Orica mapper. So just to what you know, take the latest one. So the latest one is 1.5.2. Click on it. So let's copy what you know, this Maven dependency. Simply go and add it in your project. So I added what you know, the Maven dependency for Orica mapper. So once that is added, let me go to our inner source. I'm going to create the new package. Create the new package called com dot Dinesh Krish. That's a package name. And inside this package, I'm going to create what you know the employee class. Employee. The employee is going to have two property: private integer ID. So that is employee ID. Then private string employee name. Right. So let me generate the setters and getters for this two property. So generate setters and getters right now let me generate what two string for this particular class generate the two string I'm going to generate my two string should have what you know this two field when I'm trying to print what you know the object so now we just created what you know the employee object we have two variable we have setters and getters and then we have generated two string method let me create one more class called employee DTO employee DTO so DDO in the sense, you know, data transfer object. So we just created what in employee DDO, which is going to have what, you know, the same field. I'm going to say what, you know, private integer ID, then private string, string name, right? So let me generate what, you know, get us and set us. Then let me generate two string. Generate two string for these two variables. So here we go. We got actually what you know two different objects. One is the employee object, another one is the employee DTV object. Both actually has what you know same property. Now I want to perform the mapping between what you know employee and employee DTV. So now how to use what you know how to do that using what Aurica mapper. Now let me actually create what you know configurations. I'm going to create the class called my configuration. Configuration. Right. I'm going to say my configuration extends right configuration. You can find a class called what you know configurable map you know so my configuration extends what configurable map and now you have to override method called configure let me actually override the method which actually takes what mapper factory as an object right so we're actually trying to override what you know the method called configure which actually takes Mac mapper factory as an argument right so now what I have to do a mapper factory I want to do what in you know, the class mapping what is my class so employee dot class to employee DTO dot class right now dot register so that means what I'm telling to my Orica mapper a hey, Orica mapper I want you to convert the employee object into what in you know, a employee DTO object so now if you look at it we have what you know the employee DTO object which has what you know the two property and then employee object which has what you know two property both are uh, property names are actually what you know similar so now what I can do in a Orica mapper we have an option called do by default when I call this method hey Orica mapper I want you to convert the employee object into what you know employee DTO object so use what you know the when I call what you know by default I want you to just what you know copy the property to what you know the same property that we have in what employee DDO class from the employee class right so we did a configuration now let's actually what you know simply create another class which has the main method I'm gonna call this class actually what in you know, example going to create a main method in it public static void main right so now I have to call the configuration so I have to do that you know mapper facade is an interface facade equal to new my configuration right in the facade I'm gonna say with a facade do map so between employee 
employee object to employee dto dot class so which is actually going to return what in employee dto i'm going to say what you know dto right now before that i need to create an employee object i have to pass this employee object right so because we're trying to perform pass an employee object convert this employee object into what in you know, right employee dto object right so let me create what in you know, the employee object employee equal to new employee right so now e dot set id i'm going to set the id as one and one then e dot set name i'm going to set the name as what you know dinesh krishnan right let me print this employee object to get an idea i'm printing this employee object as well as let me print what you know this dto object you know which is converted now let me run this class we'll see what is going to happen here we go we converted what you know this is our employee object now our employee object in converted into what you know the employee dto object with the all properties we learned how to convert the two different object from employee to employee dto using what orica mapper so if you look at it the both the object actually has two property both the properties are actually what you know same so that means employee also have an id and name and employee dto also have what you know id and name so in the mapper configuration called you know by default method so what you know we achieved the mapping so now consider what happens if if our employee dto has the property which has the different name now let's write that let's understand how to handle that scenario let me remove everything so i'm going to introduce what you know new variable i'm going to say what you know employee id instead of id i'm going to say what you know employee id private string i'm going to say employee name right now let me generate the setters and getters generate set getters and setters right click generate two string method i'm going to generate the two string method so now if you see that we have an employee class we have employee dto class we have two at two properties but both the property names actually what you know different so now what i'm going to do here instead of saying what you know the by default i'm going to remove this i'm going to say what dot field have to specify the field name here i have a field called in my employee class i have a field called id i want to i want this id to go into what you know employee id right dot field i have field called name the corresponding field for employee dto class it's employee name right let me run this class now we'll see what is going to happen here we go we got what you know the employee id and then employee name so even though you have a different uh, what is that you know I mean a field name between the two different object you can achieve them by using what field method available in orica mapper 